Okay then, welcome back to Fast Performance. My name is Tim Davies and today we are talking about, what are we talking about? That's exactly right, as I knew it was. We are talking today about scheduling and projects. Right, two really important things guys. If you do well, your days are gonna be a lot easier with you and your families. All right, we're talking about taking control now in times of crisis and it starts with you, big guy. This is episode three and actually in the UK, it's day two of which pretty much is gonna be the lockdown as we know it. Things we can do in the UK today, as you still know, we can go to the shops, we can go and do some health stuff if we need to, but what we can't really do is go out for random bike rides associated in the parks and come within two meters of each other. That's very important. And we're gonna to talk tomorrow probably about how you get that weekly shop done whilst you minimize the difficulties to yourself and to other people by being in that kind of close contact. But today, we're not talking about that because we're at home, we're all getting a little bit touchy and a little bit bored. So we're gonna talk about scheduling and projects. Part one, scheduling. That's right, guys, yeah, you've got to schedule your day. You know it, I know it, everyone else knows it, all right? Especially your family. So you've got to grip this, grip it, and you've got to get it done. Now, what do we do when we schedule? What are the main two things that we have to do to schedule our day? Wake up time, bedtime. Right, that's your bookends. Let's call them bookends. Everything else is about sleeping, okay? So you define when you get up and you define when you go to sleep. Now, why is it important to define when you go to sleep? Because if you drag this shit out, you're gonna have very poor quality sleep, you're gonna be more ratty, and that amygdala, which is a dick, and we know it's a dick, that is gonna cause you to flare up, okay? And it's gonna cause massive amounts of family trauma and arguments. So, your bedtime is important, and that will define your wake up time. Now, we're gonna break the day into a series of parts. How you wanna do that is fine, but what I would say is put your meal times in there, especially if you're in a family, and that will define some structure for them. You can't necessarily control everything they do. I understand that, and to try and do so will cause some pretty big arguments. But what you can do is tell everyone when they're gonna to get together and they're gonna eat. Now, remember what we said before, 10 o'clock in the morning was a pretty good time to get the family together for the morning brief. You can talk about what you're gonna do in that day. You can talk about what you have done the day previous. So how do we schedule? What are the main things we're gonna put into this then? The day before is the most important time for you. So the thing that you have to put on your schedule for tomorrow is the last thing you're gonna do that day. Because the last thing you're gonna do that day is gonna define the first thing you do the following day. Don't think you're gonna wake up and plan your day. It doesn't work like that, okay? Everything's gonna get in your face and it's gonna just fall apart. The planning of your day starts and is done the day before. So what are the important things to your day then? As I said, break it up. Wake up time, go to bed time. Now put in the meal times. Now you've got your 10 o'clock brief or whenever you wanna give that to your family. Remember, you're leading this tribe. That's your job. They're looking to you for your actions, not necessarily your words. So now you need to put in things that you are gonna do during that day. So what I do when I schedule is I use a whiteboard because I give instruction from home on my spin recovery program and some 12 months of the awesome warrior and some other things out there. I have a whiteboard and it helps me to put things on that board in different colors. Red, I use for things that must be done. Blue, I use for things that don't really need to be done but would be nice. And then in the middle, I use green for things that should be done. Let me give you an example of some of these things. The night before then, just before you go and write your schedule for the following day, your spouse says to you, right, tomorrow we've got to go out and do some shopping, we've got to go to Tesco's, and we've got to go and buy some groceries. We have to, we're out of supplies. Red, that goes in red on your schedule. And you know what the best thing to do is? Ask her when she wants to do that. Don't be a fool. Blue, what are some things that are blue? Well, blue, these are the cold things. Actually, you'd be good to get done, but you know what? They can be pushed over to the next day. Your projects kind of fall in the blue category, but some of them really should be green. Green are the should be done. Now, if you want to set example to your tribe, you should be doing some things that they can see. Actions, not words. I've got some projects I'm going to be doing, and we're going to be talking about those in the next section. So you should have the night before written your entire next day schedule on a board. That schedule is for you. If you wanna put the schedule out for your family, use another board for that. You have to keep your world as your world because your family are looking to you for an example of how to behave. This is why you need to be getting up before the family and going to bed 
after the family and we said this first we said this in like episode one we're reiterating now we're getting down into the details fam you know what i'm saying because the truth is if your family are arguing and everything's going into turmoil then tomorrow we're probably going to talk about maybe you are being the problem that is causing all of this it's probably a lack of leadership to be honest and we're going to talk about how we can be honest with ourselves we can internalize it so we can do something about it what your spouse wants to see is you getting out there and doing things all right so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna jump out to my garden and we're gonna look at me cleaning her car why am i cleaning her car no seriously why am i cleaning her? because i'm showing her that i'm doing things okay guys so remember what i talked about we talked about projects you've got to have projects which means the day before not on the morning the night before you need to go around your little kingdom around your space around your domain you need to find things that you can be doing now simple ones okay we're going to talk about a few of them today but one of the best ones you can do is Go and wash a car, follow me, all right? Follow me, this is hard to do. Stay with me, stay with me. Right, so here we have exhibit A. I give you a little uh, MG midget, okay, from 1968, possibly 69, I really don't know. Doesn't belong to me, belongs to the wife. However, a little bit grubby, all right? Probably needs a bit of TLC, so we're gonna be washing this thing today, and I'm not gonna take you through a wash, all right? And don't, I'm not detailing this thing. Bucket, soap, um, and I've got a hose here as well. I'm not using my brand new Wix USA pressure washer. It's not about that. And yes, I know I should have a, bu a bucket of water as well to wash off that glove. I'm not about that today, all right? I'm about getting some soap on it, letting it settle, spraying it off with the hose. If you use a pressure washer on this thing, okay, you're just gonna take the paint off the whole thing and just go through the metal. Not about that, it's about doing something, okay? It's about being seen to get outside and to do something, okay, in your little world. Get outside. This is a job that you would have planned the day before. Tomorrow, I'm gonna wash a car. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah, the other thing, guys, I would say is the reason I wear these T-shirts with like different places, like this is Montreal across them, uh, it's because my brother's an airline pilot and all the places that he goes to that I haven't been to, I buy a T-shirt for that place because it really annoys him. Another project I've come up with today is replacing this kind of plastic stuff down here. If you can see this, I'm pointing to it. I'm going to come down here with me. Come down here with me. Come with me. Right, here we go. So as you can see down here now, I'll just bring the camera down. I'll move it down. You can see where I've got this matting and what that was doing was it held all those stones up towards the actual garage. So I've lifted this up now to see what kind of damage there is. There's no damage as such. But what I need to do is get all the stones out of that and then relay that. And you can see what that actually does. It means that stones are held up to the garage. That's a really cool job to do, actually. That's going to take me some time. And then, of course, I've done decluttering one of the garage. I'll just take you in here now. And as you can see, I don't know whether the light's going to... There we go. That light works, isn't it? So as you can see, guys, decluttering two needs to take place at some point because... Dragging the little red car out, which lived here, as I'm sure you're well aware, there's a little workout space here. There's the, the big cars on the rack up here. Um, this whole space here, of course, this is gonna have to get cleaned out as well now, isn't it? So I'm looking around the garage now going, yeah, why are, there, you know, why are the power tools and everything hanging up here? What is this stuff for? This is garden tools, they don't belong in here. They belong in the shed, right? So let's do something about that. And maybe tomorrow I'm gonna get amongst it. Tonight I might walk around there and just identify areas that need to be cleaned up. It's pretty simple stuff, right guys? And that's pretty much it, all right? So I'll go back upstairs. All right, so in that last video then, you saw me running around cleaning her car and it wasn't a great clean. It wasn't supposed to be that. I actually didn't do any metal work. I didn't do any wheels. I didn't even do the internals of the car. I did nothing. I'm not detailing it. I'm cleaning it, okay? I'm not into that detailing stuff. You can do that by all means if you want to. That would be a great project for the day. However, okay, I've got other things that I need to run, such as making these films. So we're probably gonna wrap it up pretty soon, but let me just talk about what I'm doing for my projects tomorrow. Notice how I've dressed over to one side of your screen. Magically, over here on this side, some things will now pop up when I talk about them. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow, having been around my kingdom and looked at things that need to be done, the first thing I'm gonna do when I wake up, obviously I get my fizz done and everything else, but in terms of projects, the three projects that I'm gonna do tomorrow, one, removing the camera from my wife's car. It's been playing up, it just keeps powering on and off. I think it's to do with damping the fuse box. So I may as well get that fuse box out, let it dry out a little bit. It's a common problem actually on Mazda MX-5 NCs. I've done the fix by the way, the grouting hero. So don't worry about that, but I'm gonna probably do that anyway, get that camera out of that car. Number two, decluttering. That's right fam, I'm gonna get in the garage. I'm gonna make sure I declutter. I'm gonna do a whole three-step process and maybe tomorrow we're gonna to talk about that decluttering in itself. I might try and film that for you if I can, let you know how I'm doing it. Number three, getting those plastic sheets up in front of the garage, digging a small channel underneath them and then putting the rocks back on top so they're not standing out proud as you do right now. Those are three very tangible jobs I can do and they're visible for the family as well. There'll be some things though of course that conflict with those particular things. And if they do conflict with them, then you need to speak to your family the night before and sort out what your must, your shoulds, 
and your can do's are for that day. All right, a quick little film today, guys. Be seen to be doing things. Take control of your household. Set yourself a schedule. Sort those projects out. Hit in the gym, okay? Get your fizz on. See you tomorrow.